Hello and welcome to another episode of Iranian Surgery Podcast. Today we are going to talk about tummy tuck. First of all, we need to know what tummy tuck is. What is tummy tuck or abdominoplasty? A tummy tuck or abdominoplasty is a cosmetic surgery to improve the shape of tummy area or the abdomen. It can involve removing excess loose skin, fat and stretch marks and tightening the abdominal muscles. It is sometimes combined with liposuction to help shape the abdomen. The results can be long-lasting, particularly if you keep to a healthy weight after your surgery. It is popular following pregnancy, massive weight loss, or whenever a flabby abdomen with weak muscles impairs body contour. It's not a quick fix for losing weight as the procedure is usually only recommended for people with a healthy body mass index or BMI. But the question remains about when to consider tummy tuck. You should consider having a tummy tuck. If you've got flab stretch marks or excess skin in your abdomen that does not improve with diet or exercise. If the shape of your abdomen has been affected by pregnancy or massive weight loss. If you feel that your protruding abdomen is unattractive. And if your self-confidence is marred by your stomach contour. Now that we know when we can consider tummy tuck, we are going to discuss the tummy tuck methods and then later we will talk about how tummy tuck gets done. There are three methods for tummy tuck. Number one, a full tummy tuck. In addition to the incision across the lower abdomen, a traditional tummy tuck involves an incision to contour the abdomen. This surgery removes the skin from above the navel down to the pubic area that has been compromised by pregnancies, genetic laxity, or obesity. Number two, mini tummy tuck. If you only need a small amount of skin or fat removed, you can have a mini tummy tuck. A single incision is made in the pubic area which will be placed as low as possible and can range from a few inches to the entire span of your abdomen. Through this incision, your surgeon will remove excess skin, tighten slack muscles and possibly use liposuction to further refine the area. The ideal candidate for a mini tummy tuck has laxity and protrusion below the navel. A mini tummy tuck is usually recommended for those who have always been in fairly good shape but cannot achieve their aesthetic goals with diet and exercise. Number three, extended or high lateral tension tummy tuck. If you have excess skin in the lap handles or hips, your incision can be made longer to address this problem. The high lateral tension tummy tuck was one of the first procedures developed to address skin excess after significant weight loss or pregnancy. The technique uses a layer in the deeper tissue to support and maintain the repair. This procedure includes a tummy tuck in the front of the abdomen and transfers the lift over the hip to the side of the thigh to improve contour in this area, suspending and improving the hip and thigh. You can simulate the effect by grabbing your skin on the sides of your waist and pulling up as if you're putting on a pair of pants. Now, how is a tummy tuck procedure performed? In this surgical procedure, your surgeon will remove your loose abdominal skin and tighten up your abdominal muscles with sutures. Your surgeon will mark your abdomen to indicate the location of the incisions, the center of your torso and the location of the reposition navel. A solution of lidocaine, which is a local anesthetic, and epinephrine, which is a vasoconstrictor that controls bleeding by constricting blood vessels, will be injected. The primary tummy tuck incision will be above the pubic mound from one hip bone to the other. In a full abdominoplasty, another incision is made around your navel. In a mini tummy tuck, your surgeon will use a shorter incision. The surgeon will loosen the skin from your abdominal wall to your rib cage and then place sutures in the fascia of your abdominal muscles to pull them into a tighter position. This is the muscle repair portion of the surgery. After your abdominal muscles have been sutured, your surgeon will remove excess fat by liposuction or other methods. Your abdominal skin is then stretched down over your incision line and the excess skin is removed. Next, your surgeon will mark the placement of your navel. Although the skin around your navel has been moved, the navel almost always stays in the same place. Your surgeon cuts a hole through the redraped skin and sutures it around your navel. Your surgeon then will use tissue glue, sutures, staples or steroid stripes to close the incisions. In a full abdominoplasty, the surgeon will often insert one or more drains to prevent fluid buildup, which can cause pressure on the incision. The drain is a clear plastic tube placed through a very short incision below the main incision, which leads out of the body to a small oval-shaped bulb. Each time you empty a bulb and before you close it again, you will be asked to squeeze it to help drain the wound. The goal of your aesthetic plastic surgeon and staff is to help you achieve the best results and to make your surgical experience as easy and comfortable as possible. Depending on what exactly you are having done, the operation can take between 2 and 4 hours, but this may vary between surgeons. 
Now let's talk about the recovery time frame after a tummy tuck. Recovery from a tummy tuck procedure occurs over a period of six months or more. In the first couple of days, managing pain and avoiding complications is your top priority. The first week will be the worst and you will still feel like you are recovering for about two to three weeks. After a few weeks, regaining mobility and fitness becomes important. You can start evaluating the steady outcome of your surgery. It is important to remember that the time it takes to recover varies greatly among individuals. The first few days after surgery, you should rest quietly. Remember, you must not take aspirin or certain anti-inflammatory medications. To prevent coughing and bleeding, do not smoke after your procedure and do not drink alcohol for five days after surgery or while you are taking pain medication. Arrange for someone to help you get around the house and help with your medication for at least the first two days after surgery. Make sure you continue to have lots of help at home. This cannot be stressed enough. You will be tempted to try to help around the house, but you won't feel like yourself for at least 7 to 10 days and you still shouldn't do any heavy lifting, such as picking up your children or baskets of laundry for 4 to 6 weeks. If you have small children, you must put someone else totally in charge of their care for at least 2 weeks. Follow your surgeon's instructions carefully. The first 2 days are the most uncomfortable, so if you are instructed to take medications at certain times, stay on the schedule. Discomfort typically drops down to a nagging level by 5 to 7 days. You will likely go back for follow-up with your surgeon within 5 days. During this visit, your doctor can remove the drains. Swelling should subside within 5 weeks. Call your surgeon immediately if you notice an increase in swelling, pain, redness, drainage or bleeding in the surgical area or if you develop fever, dizziness, nausea or vomiting. Other red flags include shortness of breath, chest pains, and an unusual heartbeat. You should be up and walking the day after surgery, although slowly. It is important to walk to discourage swelling and to prevent blood clots in the legs. However, avoid strenuous exercise for four to six weeks because it can trigger unnecessary fluid retention in the treated areas. Plan to take about two weeks off from work, depending on the physical demands of your job. Make an effort to ease back into your normal routine gradually rather than all at once. The recovery period is typically longest for patients undergoing a traditional abdominoplasty rather than a mini tummy tuck and for those who are combining a tummy tuck with other surgical procedures. Wearing your compression garment as directed reduces the likelihood of loose or sagging skin after an abdominoplasty. The compression garment also helps to control swelling resulting in a shorter recovery period. Thank you for listening and hope you have enjoyed listening to our podcast. For more information on tummy tuck, you can check out our website. Stay with us for more podcasts on IranianSurgery.com.